think that there are a lot of opportunities for using different fuels, different feedstocks within the combustion engine, within the transportation system. Some of those alternative fuels may have different combustion characteristics. Now we don't really know how those different fuels will behave. And without doing the fundamental research, it's going to be hard to do any scale up of, uh, of any level without getting to a point where we can do it efficiently and effectively. And there's a lot of different drivers, both on economic side, uh, interest in terms of environment, uh, and also financial interest. Uh, and that's one of the, uh, the sides that comes with the heavy duty sector, for example, it's, it's transportation of goods. So there's fuel consumption and the, and the amount of fuel and, and what's being consumed by the vehicles represents a cost to the consumer in the end and also an operating cost for the business. One aspect we can look at is using renewable fuels, whether it is ethanol, isobutanol, butanol, or any other renewables, to best extend the efficiency of the engine, which then ultimately improves the fuel economy for the end user. It's a process. So the process starts with the fuel, and once we have the fuel, we try to test the fuel in a spark ignition engine setup, in a compression ignition engine setup, and we generate data, being, being in National Lab, our strength, is to actually generate the experimental data and the simulation results. These experimental data and the high fidelity simulation results actually go into a database. OEMs can actually access this database to learn what experiments have been done, what simulations have been done, and that's going to actually help them guide what fuels are suitable for their engine or what modifications need to go in the engine Everybody knows about all the work on electric and hybrid vehicles, but it's also known that conventional engines, the engines that you have on, on, in your car today, they, those engines will be around for many decades yet to come. And what we are doing here is basically to make those engines better. So the development effort on those conventional engines is not done, it's not finished, it's continuing to gain that 1%, 2%, efficiency every certain number of years that can make your fuel consumption better. So having the ability to have a strategy for running this engine and this combustion system on a variety of different fuels and fuel blend stocks, being able to take the same approach so that we can compare all of these different fuels and operating strategies apples to apples to apples every time, all the time, consistently. That's why we do this kind of work at national labs and universities. This is where the understanding portion of all of this uh, science comes from.